Well, hello everyone, and here with another Harry Potter review, and this one is on The Rise of Voldemort. So, on the front of the box here, see Lego logo, Harry Potter logo, and that order that we have seen for a little while, and also a picture of the whole set in action, suiting to the scene in Goblet of Fire, and also Wizarding World, all the minifigs included, and Recommended ages is 7 and up. Set number 75965 has 184 pieces. And on the back, see another position of it and all the features. And yeah. So on the front of the manual, as same pictures on the front of the box and everything. On the back, how to win on the online survey. And all the pieces that come with the set. And after Lego Life and the last steps. So first of all, for the mini figs, is Harry himself. Or is Harry himself, of course. And this is which his outfit is shown in last half a goblet of fire and the face print which also kinda common of which the hair piece of which exclusive to this one of which and back print which says Potter of course and it's using the mid legs like in most of the other sets. And this is double side face, same as in the Expector Patronum set, of course. Also included, it is the little winner's cup build, which quite also uh, kind of well captures it. Although it could have been an actual specific piece, but I've forgiven. And next is Peter Pettigrew. And his torso print, of which also done quite good. And length print, of which quite nice, of course. It has a little uh, dagger suiting to the seam. And hairpiece, which is kind of similar to that of the Ron Weasley one, of course. And also do get a piece of baby Voldemort, of course, as suiting to the scene, of course. And then... There he is from the back, with also good back printing, and also kind of neat double side face, but good that they kept the black teeth on both faces, of course. And next is a Death Eater, with having the newer uh, robe skirt piece. And the face print also done quite quite neat and well suiting to it and torso print done quite nicely and there's from the back but no double side face but also do get the like a uh, wizard hat from the collectible minifig series which works good for it and last but not least is he who must not be named of course and oh which face print of which quite the same as from the, the collectible minifig series and other sets and same bottom piece and everything, and some good back printing and holding the white wand, of course, which is right suiting to him. And so for the main build, so like, so it, as you see, it has a ton of the like dark tan plates, of course, and some good use of the newer foliage pieces and a lot of those uh, vines in brown also seem to get this one headstone with the frock piece in gray so, now you get a newer another uh, gray stone piece which has a sticker that has the deathly hollows symbol of course although to get that to work fit work with this is on these two jumper pieces. This obviously. And get the little tomb of uh, Tom Riddle there. And uh, what doesn't count as a figure is this little statue here. 
in big use of the like wing pieces and also interesting how it's done. Get those little foliage pieces. Also nicely done. Also good use of there. This little culture in here, which has one of those pieces, a bone, and one of the uh, trans red globe pieces, as suiting to a bunch close to the scene when throws baby Voldemort and then is reborn as actual kind. And it does that. So for the actual main feature is that when you pull this in, Voldemort arises, of course. So it's perfectly suiting to the scene. And it another one of those foliage pieces, of course, probably as a, a bush of the hedge. And so good use of pieces used for this and plenty of jagged slopes used for the tomb, of course. And what else is there to say? Oh, and also quite nice use of these slopes as well. Oh, you can move them up and down a bit. So probably so you can like kind of make it level if you're making a large graveyard mock, of course. And also good use of these like other rounded pieces like from in the Lego Movie 2 line. Of course. And so now on to the final verdict on this one. So overall, this I think a pretty good set for its price point. Like get four neat mini figs that I think are, are somewhat exclusive to this, and an exclusive variant of Harry, and also another one from Goblet of Fire, which we don't see very much of, of course. But also a nice build of the trophy, of course. And also first time of this set in a kind of a while of course although could have used like another death eater which but would have bumped up the price of course and if you are a fan of goblet of fire then go ahead and pick this up and if you're wanting to add this to your collection then also go ahead and pick this up and that is about it with this video and thanks for watching